Elon Musk came up with the Hyperloop and it totally failed. Then he came up with the loop. That failed also. Then he so promised full self-driving for 10 years uh, straight. Failed. Driving, at least for highways. Then we have Solar City, which was a 100% fate product. And then Clearing SpaceX, the blowing up rockets cake. like there's no tomorrow. And people are clapping when hundreds of millions of dollars projects goes up in smoke. This is the greatest genius of our time. Brother, Kimball Musk. When Elon was, was 10 years old, he got tested by IBM and he was found to have one of the highest aptitudes they'd ever seen for computer programming. Funny he said that, because the teacher thought he was intellectually disabled. <laughs> After watching this video, you, I think you will agree with the teacher. If Elon is the greatest mind of our time, where is the Hyperloop? Remember Hyperloop? It was supposed to be huge. The concept promised a revolutionary new method of transportation on par with the invention of the airplane. Low pressure tube with a pod in it that uh, runs on, on air bearings, on air skis, with uh, an air compressor on the front that's taking the, the high pressure air buildup on the nose and pumping it through the air skis. It's really, I swear it's not that hard. <laughs> it's not that hard, but he removed the Hyperloop at the SpaceX Center. The funny thing is this dumb idea made other companies lose a ton of money. Like Virgin Hyperloop. Of miles an hour down a 500 meter long tube. That's why it was so surprising that at the start of 2022, the firm axed half its staff and announced it would no longer be attempting passenger travel. Now they're travel. going into cargo, but that didn't work either. Because the idea is stupid. So the Hyperloop was a total fail by the greatest genius of our time. What else has he promised? Remember the loop? So the loop was supposed to be driving on electric skids down in a tunnel and then whoosh away it was supposed to reach extreme speeds ain't right, right drop musk. down the wormhole phew, pop out the other side so he promised um, cars and, then and electric pods that would go down an elevator and then they would merge into a single line and whoosh away into the pipeline so the sci-fi looking pods would be doing 124 miles per hour or 200 and something kilometers per hour this is what he promised let's see what he delivered in a big city like las vegas involves getting a ride share finding a bus or taking the monorail but downstairs from me right now is the future of transport a fleet of teslas driving through a boring tunnel that goes under the streets of las vegas and I'm here to check it out. Did you hear what she said? She called this the future of travel. He promised to be full self-driving, autonomous. Let's see. It's not autonomous. When you jump into your Model X or Model 3, there's still a human behind the wheel. It's not autonomous. So it's not autonomous. What about speed? Is it 124 miles per hour? Is it the fastest technology on Earth? Don't go above 35 miles an hour. Did I hear correctly? Did she said 35 miles per hour? No, it can't be. He's a genius. Don't go above 35 miles an hour. That didn't happen either. Just regular Teslas driving in a tunnel. I mean, if I want to see this, I can just go to Oslo. The I've been in Oslo for like a couple of hours and I've seen like 50 Teslas. There's one right there. They're beautiful. They're On sleek. multiple lane, not just they one lane. So it's even fast. better than the Musk idea. So why does the genius start this uh, project? So he started because traffic was driving him nuts. And then he made traffic worse by making it one lane. One lane. I wonder if one lane would cause a traffic a subway, jam. But this is more like a highway underground. And because it's Las Vegas, this is also a thrill ride. Well done, genius boy. Everybody's proud of you. Let's go to the next idea. Remember Solar City? Like the interesting thing is that the houses you see around you are all solar houses. I don't know if you know that. I don't know if you, did you notice? Yeah. 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 So Elon talked to Tesla shareholders to buy up this company for 2.6 billion in 2016. So let's see how this worked out. 
how many solar panels have they installed since 2016? 3,000 solar roof systems, that's all. Oh my god. And when they bought the company, they were aiming at installing 1,000 solar roof tiles per week. So if you take 2.6 billion and divide it by 3,000, that equals, that's $866,666. That's how much Tesla paid for Solar City. And they produced only 3,000 solar roof tiles. Wow, they could have bought houses for that amount of money. This was definitely not a good deal for Tesla. On to the next promises. Autonomous Full self-driving. Tesla car next year will probably be 90% capable of autopilot. Like, so 90% of your miles could be on auto. You know, for sure highway uh, travel. We're probably only a month away from having uh, autonomous driving, at least for highways and for relatively simple roads like a Model S and Model X at this point uh, can drive autonomously with greater safety than a person right now. People do not need to touch the wheel, look out of the window sometime probably around, I don't know, second quarter of next year. So feature complete in self-driving this year. And when I say feature complete, I mean it'll work in downtown San Francisco and downtown Manhattan this year. Be like, how could it possibly be that good? That's crazy. I was called a fraud and a liar, and it was not going to happen, this is all untrue. Uh, and we expect to have the first operating robo-taxis next year, with no one in them, next year. And I spearheaded that effort personally. All these things, said we'd do them, we did it. Even the mainstream media are catching up to the full self-driving promise, which is totally a bullshit product. I feel very confident predicting uh, autonomous robo-taxis for Tesla next year. Mark my words. Serious? I said we'd do them. We did it. Next up, SpaceX. No, not SpaceX also. Oh yes, SpaceX. Basically what it, we're going to do is we're going to fly BFR like an aircraft and do point-to-point -point travel on Earth. So you can take off from New York City or Vancouver and fly halfway across the globe. In a, you'll be on the BFR for roughly half an hour or 40 minutes. And the longest part of that, yeah, it's so awesome. <laughs> The longest part of that flight is actually the boat out and back. Um, I mean, Gwen, come on, this, this, this is awesome, but it's crazy, right? Like, this is never going to actually happen. Oh, no, it's definitely going to happen. It's this is definitely going to happen. Uh, how? Like, what? This has to be one of the dumbest things ever said in the history of the world. Really, I'm not joking. Because this was the launching pad after the BFR launched off or as they renamed it to Starship. This is what she wants to launch outside of New York. Not only New York, but outside of Dubai, outside of Singapore, Hong Kong, all the big cities. Just look at all the damage caused by the rocket. This is a huge rocket. You can't launch this anywhere near a city. So let's look at the damage. SpaceX launch pad also burst with concrete fragments from it shooting in all directions and leaving behind a massive crater on the ground. Look at this, it looks like somebody's shooting at the ground with some massive rockets. How are you gonna launch this outside of a huge city? Are these people insane? X could not foresee the destruction of their launch pad or the raining down of particulate matter on people and habitat as far away as Port Isabel, a town approximately six miles away. They couldn't predict this damage? I guess not all engineers are smart. A lot of them are obviously not. How did they know this was gonna happen? When thinks she can do dozens of these a day? Trip in ha half an hour to an hour, I can do dozens of these a day, right? And yet a long haul aircraft can only make one of those flights a day. So even if my rocket was slightly more expensive and the fuel is a little bit more expensive, I can run 10x at least what they're running in a day and really make the revenue that I need to out of that system. This is approximately how New York would look under a BFR launch, or if Gwen gets her way. Here are some pictures from the recent launch. I mean, look at those craters. This is impossible to launch near a city. Boom, look at that car. Pulverized. Insane that these people think this will actually work. So how were they thinking of launching this? Their plan was to use some kind of dock. What would happen to this dock when this ship launches? In the middle of the ocean, this whole dock would just get pulverized. Just what happened recently. 
How does these people don't know this stuff? This simple logic. SpaceX launch pad also burst with concrete fragments from it shooting in all directions. So you know what would happen? They would launch this rocket and when the dust settles, the next group of people load the boat and then drive off to the dock, just like in SpaceX renders. So they're driving around in the boat for like 30 minutes and they're like, where's the dock? It was supposed to be here, right? Where is it? They're like, uh, uh, I swear it was here 30 minutes ago. Where could it be? <laughs> um, um, again, we were told that's impossible. Um, I was called a fraud and a liar. And it was not going to happen. This is all untrue. I spearheaded that effort personally. I said we'd do them. We did it. So we'd do it. We did it. So, so let's ask some astronauts how it feels being in a rocket. You have four million pounds of propellant being consumed in eight and a half minutes to lift this quarter million pound object into orbit. And that is a violent energy exchange. And a lot of things have to work right for it to all go well. Sit out there and be blasted into space. And I tell them that you will fear for your life. If you don't, you're incredibly naive. <laughs> so this is what we're going to do <laughs> to fly to Hong Kong. Yeah, I don't think so, man. People be shitting themselves on the rocket ship. If astronauts are scared for their life, what would regular people do? Who's going to pick up all that shit? <laughs> I mean, Quinn, come on. This, this, this is awesome, but it's crazy, right? Like, this is never going to actually happen. Oh, no, it's definitely going to happen. This is definitely going to happen. This is what the launch looks like, but SpaceX cuts off, it doesn't show inside the flight, I couldn't find it online, so I'm gonna show you from another clip. So this is a much smaller rocket than the one we would be traveling in. These guys look quite normal and happy, so it's, uh, man, this looks scary. Dangerous also. Can you imagine how much time it would need to dress us up in these astronaut suits every time we travel to Hong Kong? That's gonna take hours. Gotta give it to the engineers to make this safe. What an incredible job. Making this safe is one thing, but making it cheap so just people can travel, that's a whole nother ball game. This is gonna take a lot of time. But then people just cut me off and say, but SpaceX made rockets that land by themselves. It's revolutionary, it's never been done before. Are you sure about that? Do you know about DCX? This was done in 1993 by NASA. So this was already tried. 30 years ago and it landed vertically just like SpaceX does so why didn't NASA continue down this path because it was financially viable what does that mean well reusing rockets is not so beneficiary as you think they are you save very little money and it takes you a lot of time so there's no point in doing it NASA abandoned it but SpaceX kept on going so basically Elon is continuing the mistakes of NASA 30 years ago. So you know what's funny with Elon? He's never made a company profitable. Never. Not PayPal, not Tesla, not anything. Not SpaceX, not SolarCity, nothing. So the only genius part about him is selling lies. Look, the rocket's landing, just like SpaceX. <laughs> So that's Elon's talent, making old ideas new and not making any money of it. That's why he's always saying that his company is gonna go bankrupt, because they're not structurally profitable. What does that mean? It means that company is not making money. It's burning money from investors, the government or some other scheme. It's not making money providing a service. That's his talent. That's what he does. Hell, don't take my word for it. Take Elon's word for it. So let's look at the Elon's word about his companies. So he's worried that SpaceX would go bankrupt and it would be worth zero. So two years ago, he was warning that it's a genuine risk of bankruptcy if we can't achieve a Starship flight rate of at least every two weeks next year. This was published at the end of 2021. So Starship has like 39 Raptor engines and need to make them reliable, which is a huge job in itself. And then their vice president of proportion, Will Hustley, 
leaves earlier that month. This is definitely not a good sign. Why is he leaving? And Musk also says that the leadership has been digging into the program's problems since then and the problems are much more severe. He also calls it a disaster. So Musk said they needed to launch every two weeks to make a profit. So let's see how much time they need to relaunch. Their turnaround time is 40 days. So this is done for. Elon says they need to do it in 14 days. Well, they need 40. After developing this rocket since 2003, this is not gonna work. They should have sold it by now. And they need to get it down to two weeks. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. This is also going bankrupt. They have been trying for the last decade, over a decade, and it doesn't work. NASA tried it, they also failed. So why is he not giving up on this? How long will it take before SpaceX is bankrupt? Tick tock, tick tock. To top all of this off, you have to know that we've been living in historic times. Never in the history of the world had this interest rate been so low for so long. Since 2009, we have had interest rates at 0.25% from the central bank. So when you borrow money, it was like 2% interest, 1% interest. It has never happened in the history of the world. And even during that time, Elon struggled to make money on his projects. So he had all the time with him to succeed and he never did. So what's gonna happen when interest rates go up? Then he's gonna have even more problems. So basically Elon is like my YouTube channel. Just a huge waste of time and a money burning pit as of now. So if you like the channel, you can help me out by joining my Patreon.